Hello everybody out there in the bookverse, it's Stephanie and today I'm back with my July TBR star hop. I am so excited for this video. I love doing this. This is like my favorite part of the month. I love playing this game. I'm really, really excited for it. And I just can't wait to jump in and play with you guys. If you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you'd like to see more from me and to keep up with my TBR star hops each month, definitely hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon so you'll be notified when I post new content. But let's start out by looking at how I did last month. If you'd like to see the rules or anything like that, I uh, will link a playlist to my TBR star hops and you can watch my first one where I go over the board and the rules. But yeah, uh, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So I'm just gonna go over the books that I read last month and let you know how I did. So last month the board was ridiculously nice to me. I had four books on my TBR and I finished all of them, which means I get to take that black hole off the board. I'm so, so excited about that. Uh, but the books that I read were, uh, I audio booked The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna, which was a standalone. I read Keeper of the Lost Cities Exile, which was my spinner pick, which is a free pick. I read Age of Death by Michael J. Sullivan, which was a book that was a certain number of page range. I can't remember what it was. And then for a sci-fi, I read Descender Volume 6. I finished all of them, which is not really surprising because it was a pretty short TBR, but I'm still pretty excited about that. So I'm in a good mood. I'm feeling good about this, guys. Let's go ahead and jump into roll number one. Okay, so since I was able to finish my TBR from last month, I get to remove this lovely black hole from the board and it is now gone. We only have one black hole on the board. Let's see how we do, guys. Let's go to roll number one. Okay, here's roll number one. We get a six. And that's a moon. So for our moon prompt, we get over 500 pages. <laughs> Lovely, just what I needed. Okay, for spin number one, we landed on a moon and we got a book that is over 500 pages. So we're starting off with kind of a chunky book, which worries me a little bit because I'm starting graduate school in July. So I'm really a little bit nervous about my TBR being long and starting off with a 500 page book is a little worrisome, but it'll be okay. We're gonna do it. And for that, I picked Fool's Errand by Robin Hobb. This is the first book in her Tawny Man trilogy. I am reading it as part of a read along with Megan over at the channel, Megan reading Revelations and for July we are reading Fool's Errand. This series I believe goes back to Fitz and the Fool who were two of our main characters in her first trilogy set in the realm of the Elderlings. I really don't know exactly what's going to be happening in this one. I'm really looking forward to it. It's a great adult high fantasy series. She does amazing character work in the series and I absolutely love how she writes her books. She just tugs at your heartstrings. She really just kills you. Oh, it's just so emotional reading her series. I'm so excited to continue on. And this book is not as long as her Live Ship Trader series, which is nice, but it is 584 pages. So it definitely fits the over 500 page prompt. Okay, roll number two. Four. Moving along real quick, guys. Okay. Another moon. I'm just sticking with the moons this time, apparently. And we have a book that features witches or wizards in it. That's definitely doable because I like fantasy. Okay, so roll number two. We're not moving along too quickly, but it's okay. Um, I got another moon, and that is witches and wizards. For this one, I'm going to be continuing on doing the kind of read along that I'm doing with my family of Harry Potter with Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the second book in that series. We're reading all the books one a month leading up to Christmas, and then at Christmas time, we're going to do a marathon of the movies. I'm pretty excited about it, mostly because I'm just doing it with my family. It's going to be a lot of fun, just kind of you know like family bonding and my 12 year old niece is going to be reading along with us so I'm really excited about this it's gonna be a lot of fun and it's not too long it'll be a pretty quick read to add on to my TBR for my really busy month of July <laughs> okay roll number three six again not that much movement another moon I just 
<laughs> I'm just gonna use up all my moon prompts on this. Set in a different country. I think that's doable because, you know, fantasy countries are different countries, right? <laughs> Okay, so we are getting a ton of moons. I feel like that's all we're landing on and we're not moving super quickly across the board, but it's fine. Uh, for this moon prompt, we got set in a different country. For this one, I'm going to be reading The Murder of Roger Ackroyd, which is actually the June book club pick for a book club I'm part of called the Top Shelf Society. And I just did not get to it in June, which is fine because our live show is not until July 2nd. So I'll just read it the first two days in July. It's a pretty short book. This is an Agatha Christie novel. It is a murder mystery. I'm pretty sure it's Hercule Poirot. Oh, I butchered that name, but it's like her really famous investigator and I'm guessing he's investigating the murder of Roger Ackroyd. So it is set in Great Britain, which is a different country than I live in here in America. So that is going to be my pick for set in a different country. And hopefully we don't keep getting too many more moon prompts. I don't want to run out, but you know what? If we just hop on up the moons all the way to the finale, I'm not going to be mad about that either. Okay, roll number four. <laughs> We're moving along at a snail's pace. Eight. Bigger number. Okay, we like it. Okay. Another another moon. This is this is ridiculous, guys. Okay, what do we have here? Ends in an odd page number. Okay, that's probably doable, I think. Okay, the next one that I got was another moon. Again, not mad about it. It's fine. We're just snailing our way up the board. No big deal. And I got ends in an odd page number. So for this one, I am going to go with All Systems Read by Martha Wells. This is the first book in her Murderbot Diaries series. And I've been really looking forward to reading this. This is an adult sci-fi series that follows this murder bot who doesn't really want to do his job as a murder bot. He just kind of wants to sit around and watch soap operas as far as I know. Uh, but I'm really excited to start this series. I hear that murder bot is very lovable. It's a fun series. It's funny and entertaining. And I really like those kind of AIs that have this personality and I'm looking forward to it a lot. So this one is going to be going on and it's a shorter book, which is nice. It kind of helps me to get through more books if I throw on a couple short ones to help me out. <laughs> okay, we're gonna hope for something other than a moon, but hopefully not a black hole. 11. Ooh, big number. Awesome. Oh my. <gasps> oh my gosh. No, guys. No, this is... No! Oh, well... This hasn't happened before. So for those of you who have didn't watch the first TBR Star Hop and don't know what this means, this means I have to start all the way over at the beginning. Oh my gosh. Whew. Okay, well, welcome to my July TBR. It's gonna be out of control. Oh my goodness, I don't think I've ever hit the black hole before. I think this is the first time I've ever hit that in the game that I can remember. I think I hit the other black hole before, but not the one that's right by the end. Guys, I was so close. Okay, it's fine. I mean, July's first month of my graduate program, but it's fine. Like the board doesn't know that and the board obviously doesn't care. So we are gonna be pulling a wormhole book for my black hole and we'll see what I get. Okay. So let's mix them up. I have been pretty decent about putting in books of new series that I'm starting, but I haven't really been good about taking out series that I've already finished. So definitely could have some in there that I've already finished and I'll just have to redraw, but it'll be fine. Okay. Let's dig in there. Okay. So for our black hole pick, we got, ooh, this is, a, I'm not, uh, maybe, I don't know. Can you focus on the white paper, please? Keeper of Lost Cities. And it says exile, but I actually read that last, this month. I actually read that in June. So for July, I'll be reading the third book in the Keeper of the Lost Cities series instead. So I'm going to plop that. Ooh, should I plop it back? Yeah, let's just put it back in there. 
because that's a really long series I'm be going for a while so ooh, where is it here it is okay so here's Keeper of the Lost Cities 3 which is Everblaze yeah I'm excited to keep continuing on with this they are a little bit longer for middle grade books so it is a little bit long it's over 600 pages so that's not something that I particularly want to put onto my TBR, but it could be worse. I could have pulled out like the next Wheel of Time book or Rhythm of War or something. So we're going to take it. Even though it's over 600 pages, it's a middle grade, so I can read it a little more quickly. This is a middle grade series that follows a young girl who's raised by humans, but then finds out she's an elf and she has a lot of these magical abilities and she has these secrets hidden in her head that can mean big things for the elven world. It's really fun. It's cute. And I'm excited to to continue it because I'm kind of reading it with my niece. She's done with all the books that are out and I'm way behind, but it's fun. I'm doing it. I'm kind of doing it with her. Okay, so let's go for roll number six, <laughs> starting from the beginning. And we get a five. Isn't that lovely? Double star. Might as well make it harder for me, right? <laughs> Okay, so the first one is a fantasy. Yes, love that for myself. And next, a graphic novel. So a fantasy graphic novel. Wow, I think the star prompts took pity on me. <laughs> okay, the next one wasn't too terrible because we landed on a double star, but the prompts were fantasy graphic novel, which is great. I definitely am excited about that. And the graphic novel that I'm decided to go with is Monstrous Volume 3. I kind of planned on reading this in June, but I didn't get around to Volume 3. I only got through Volume 2. So Monstrous Volume 3 is going to be going on to my July TBR. I'm actually super, super excited to continue with this. I'm loving this series so much. It's such an interesting graphic novel series. I love the artwork. The art style is gorgeous and the world building and the mythology and everything surrounding it is just awesome. I love this series so much. It's really complex and hard to explain but essentially this girl has a lot of power and she's very dangerous and very sought after and she is seeking out secrets that her mother had and trying to find out like how she died, why she was killed and get revenge and also figure out what's going on with her as well. So really enjoying this series. I can't wait to continue on with it and also I'm really excited to be adding graphic novel to this TBR because it is gonna be a little out of control seeing how we had to go to the beginning but it's fine maybe we'll get a couple big numbers jump us through we can always help so let's jump back into the rolls okay next roll <laughs> it hurts guys six well we missed the wormhole that's always good another star okay come on be nice to me first book that I think of Okay, that can be done. Okay, so the next roll, we got another star. And for that first book I think of, and the first book that I thought of was Murderbot, which is not surprising because I already put a Murderbot book on here. Um, but it's really nice that that was the first book that I thought of because last time I got this prompt, I picked a chonking fantasy. So this was nice that Murderbot was already on my mind and I'm gonna throw on the next Murderbot book onto this TBR, which is Artificial Condition. So I have my next Murderbot novella added on here. I need more short books because I'm gonna die in July. I have way too much going on. This is gonna be so ridiculous, guys. Like, Murderbot might save my life, let's be honest. <laughs> okay, let's jump back into this and just fingers crossed we can get to the end with no more issues. Okay, <laughs> next roll. I don't even know what number it is at this point. A 10, oh, that's beautiful. I love it. Okay. Ooh, but it's the sun. Guys, this could be rough. A book that has a prologue. Okay, I'm guessing I can find one of those. Okay, next we got a sun, and this one actually worked out pretty well because the prompt was has a prologue and I decided to go with Shadows of Self by Brandon Sanderson which is the second book in his Second Era Mistborn series which I am reading as a 
uh, read along for the Cosmere Unbounded. I'll link the announcement video and the Discord down below so you can go check those out if you want to. But this series is set in the same world as Mistborn, but it's set like hundreds of years later and the world is definitely different. There's been a lot of technological advances and we're following these two main characters called Wax and Wayne and they are fun. They are so fun to follow. I really like their dynamics. It's very entertaining and I'm excited to continue on with the series. This book actually is our August pick but I already read the July pick so I'm gonna get a little bit ahead and read this book in July because it has a prologue and I was kind of struggling finding books that had a prologue that weren't ridiculously long that I was interested in reading this month uh, so it'll be nice to maybe get myself a little bit ahead and it's not super super long I think it's it's close to 400 pages so it's doable I can do this plus I love Brandon Sanderson's books so I get through them a little more quickly than other ones and especially this era of Mistborn I read through the first one so quickly. I loved it so much. So I'm really, really like looking forward to continuing on with this series. And I'm also hoping that I can finish out this TBR star hop pretty quick because it's killing me a little bit, guys. Okay, next roll. Okay, roll number five billion or something like that. Here we go. Seven. Okay, that's fine. Let's see where we get. Doo -doo -doo. No, oh my gosh, no, no. Oh, I got so cocky after last month and it is just coming back to bite me. Okay, well, wormhole, wormhole book and backwards. This is just what I needed in my life for July, guys. Okay, so apparently TBR Starhop is really getting back at me for last month when it was too easy. I was lured into a sense of security. I feel like it's definitely having its vengeance and we got another wormhole. So, well, I guess we got the first wormhole. We got a black hole the last time. So we're going to be jumping backwards on the board and we're gonna be drawing another wormhole book. So here we go. Again, let's shake them up. I am really, Honestly, I'm hoping I put some of my graphic novels that I read in June in here. So I'm hoping for a continuation in that and not for another adult fantasy uh, because there are also a lot of those in here as well. But let's see what I got. Can you focus on that? Age of <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, well, uh, I kind of got an adult high fantasy like I was not really wanting to, but it's fine. It's fine. I can do this. I wanted to read this in July anyways, but having it on my TBR star hop makes it like I have to have to read it. So that's a lot more pressure. Age of Whatever is actually the final book in this series. So I can take this out now, which is nice. I'll just throw it over there. And yeah, let's grab that book. Where is it? Dude, here we go. Okay, so Age of Empire is the book that I'm going to be reading for this wormhole pick. This is the sixth and final book in the Legends of the First Empire series by Michael J. Sullivan. This series is set in a world where the humans are very primitive and they think that the elves are gods, but then a man kills one of these elves. They realize they might not be so godlike after all, and definitely a lot of stuff comes from that. It's an interesting series. It's so good. I absolutely love this series. It is so amazing. I love the characters. I love the world building. I love the mythology. All of it is just so, so, so good. And I'm really excited to continue on because I just finished the last book in that, or the fifth book, not the last book, the fifth book in the series. And it was such a crazy cliffhanger. So I'm excited to start. I like I'm almost starting right now. I want to see what happens so, so bad. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to finishing this off. I just don't know where it's gonna go. I feel like there's so much that needs to happen in this book and there's not enough room for it. I'm also a little worried because it's kind of long. TBR Starhop hates me and I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to fit this book in, but apparently now I have to. The wormhole picked for me and the wormholes have not been picking nice books. I got an over 600 page book and now I got like a 500 page adult fantasy. So wormholes hate me, it's fine. I just, I just gotta accept it. TBR Starhop is not loving me this month. Let's just jump back in. I mean, can it get worse? I don't know. Probably. I shouldn't say that. That, that was dumb. I need, like, it can get worse. 
<laughs> okay, next roll. I'm just like, please give me a 12. I mean, I need it so bad. Or a four. I mean, close, right? 12, four. And here we go. <sighs> okay, it's a star. And we have a book that is gifted. I will make this work. It's, it's gonna happen. Okay, so next one on the list, we got a star and it is a book that is gifted. And I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that my husband bought me these books and I'm going to be reading Rogue Protocol by Martha Wells, the next book in the Murderbot series. Apparently this is the month of Murderbot for me. Hopefully I like it because I have three books on my TBR star hop. So if I don't like the first one, I'm kind of stuck reading the next two anyways. Uh, but yeah, excited to fit this on here. It's short. I need short. I need short so bad right now because TBR Star Hop hates me and I don't even know how long it's going to be till I get to the end. I could have another 10 rolls. I don't know. Apparently it's just happening this month. Also every time that I roll doubles I keep thinking that I have to add another roll on because of it because of Becca's um, bookopoly from Becca and the books and that's not the way mine is played but it still kind of gives me a little bit of a heart troll each time a double comes up. Sorry totally off topic but that's what I was thinking of. Next roll please be nice to me. 10 it's a big number it's a big number guys we like the double digits. Okay here we go. Be kidding me! You have got to be kidding me! I don't. Guys, I don't know. Okay, okay. It, it is what it is. The board hates me this month, and we will just be plopping back down to our happy little wormhole over here because apparently we just can't get past it. I can do this. I can. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Didn't even put the lid on this last time because I just had a feeling that another wormhole was coming and it did. It's the same one. Guys, I hit the same one. I can't get past it. This is out of control. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Pulling another one. Getting it out. Ah, no, I'm losing it. I got this. Okay, here we go. And what has it picked for me? Miss Bourne. Era 2! I already I already put my Mistborn Era 2 on my TBR. Well, I guess I'm reading the next book in Mistborn Era 2, the third book. Even though that's not um, our Cosmere Embouted pick until September, it's apparently being read in July for me because TBR Starhop has decided that for me. And this one also is the last book in the series, so I'm going to, well, the last book in the series published so far. So I'm going to remove that from my wormhole jar. I won't even put on the lid again. Just, I don't want to bring that kind of ju juju in thinking that I'm going to get past it. Um, but I don't actually own the next book yet. It is Bands of Mourning and it's the next book in the Miss Born Era 2. I'm really excited to continue with it. I love the series. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I just think it's another big adult fantasy book. It's not that big. It's probably around 500 pages, but it's just another adult high fantasy to add on to my list that I just don't need in my life right now, guys. I just need something else. I need something easy. I need to calm down, <laughs> but it's fine. I've got this. I will be able to accomplish this. I can do it. I'm sending out good vibes to the dice and hopefully we're getting past the wormhole in the next roll or two. It's gonna happen. I have manifested it into being. I think this is roll 12. I think we're in the double digits of rolls. <laughs> Come on. Come on, three. Uh, oh, oh, okay. You, go. I like this, guys. You'll see. Okay, here we go. Free spot. Woohoo! Okay, so this means I don't have to pick a card. I'm very excited about this. Okay, what number do I not want? I do not want eleven. Anything but eleven, I will accept. No 11, no 11, no 11. Nine, cool, we like it. Okay. 
star! Yes! Okay, and it is a book box book. That's fine. We'll do, we're gonna do it. Okay, so next roll I got a comet, which is awesome because I don't have to pick a book for that. And then after that I got another star, which was a book box book. And I'm gonna be really nice to myself because my TBR is already out of control and I'm going to pick Witchy by Ariel Slamet Rees, Rise. And this is a graphic novel. It's the only graphic novel that I've ever gotten in a book box and I am putting it on because I need it. I need a short book added on here. I believe this is set in a world where as your hair grows longer, it indicates that you have more power, but if it gets too long, then you're dangerous and then they kill you, I think, actually. Ooh, wow, that kind of seems, they're annihilated. Okay, they're annihilated, that sounds like death, but yeah, I'm really interested. I kind of like the art style. I think it's interesting, it's pretty, it's cute. I'm excited to read this book and I'm really excited about how short it is. <laughs> Okay, next roll, could this be our final roll? Okay, so we don't want a two or a nine. We want a 10. We want a 10, 11, or 12. That's what we want. Or two. Ooh. Guys, the odds of a two are like the slimmest. This is like one of the least likely numbers I will get. But of course, this wormhole, it sucks me in and I'm back here and I've got another wormhole pick and I just am running out of <laughs> ah, I'm gonna pick every single wormhole thing that even exists it's fine it's fine I've got this I I don't even know what to say at this point like what were the odds of that happening they're pretty slim if there's any of you mathematicians out there tell me the odds of me hitting that same wormhole again so we're gonna Draw again from the wormhole. Please, no adult high fantasy, graphic novel. No adult high fantasy, graphic novel. We need it, guys. We need this. Oh! It's the Crimson Campaign. So the next book in that, let me see. I have it right, yes. Oh, and look, it is a thick adult high fantasy. <laughs> Why would I expect anything else? <laughs> How long is this? This is about 600 pages long. Oh, it's fine. I don't, like, I don't even know why I expected anything else at this point. I'm just gonna plop that sucker back in there because there's another book in the series. So this is kind of, I think they call it like, flintlock fantasy they have guns and they have magic and they have staged a coup and taken over the government and killed a bunch of the leaders in there and now they are facing invaders from this other country and these gods are coming back and all these different things going on this is the second book in that series and honestly i forgot quite a bit but it's it's probably a good thing that this came up now so i can read it before i forget everything <sighs> but I just didn't need another thick adult high fantasy on my TBR. It's fine. I am doing it to myself, apparently. So here we go. I'm putting the lid on this time. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe that is going to be what I need to be successful in this. I'm moving this too. I don't know why this is over here, but there we go. Okay. Okay, let's jump into the next roll. And we're hoping that we can get past the wormhole this time that is what we're hoping for like it's gonna happen it has to happen eventually I cannot keep rolling to infinity it just can't happen um, apologies if the angle changed but my camera battery died because I have been filming this for so long anyways onward roll I don't even know what number but please no more wormholes Ten. I think that's safe. I'm pretty sure it's safe, guys. Okay. Moon. Moon is good. Moon does not send us backwards. Foiling. So, a book that has some sort of foiling on it? Let's, yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what I find for that. Okay, the next one we got was a moon, and for that we need a book with foiling, and... 
<laughs> I don't know why I did this. I don't know why I am putting this book on my TBR. You guys are gonna be like so mad at me because you're watching my TBR become excessive and unreasonable and unmanageable. And there's no way I can do it. Like there's no way I'm gonna be able to read all these books, right? And yet the book I'm adding on to my TBR, I just, I just am out of control, is Master Artificer by Justin T. Call. This is the dumbest thing I think I've ever done to myself. Oh my gosh, look how thick this book is. Mm. This is the sequel to Master of Sorrows, and this is set in a world where these gods had this falling out and it caused a rift between their different children, their different people they'd created, and then there is this boy who is missing a hand and he is supposed to be the chosen one to fulfill their prophecies and to kind of overcome this evil god as far as I can understand. I really loved the first one so much. It was amazing. It was really well done. It was fun. It was fast paced. It was entertaining. Um, but this one I think is about 900 pages. Okay, 850. But oh my goodness, why am I doing this to myself? But it has really, really pretty foiling. Anyways, this book is on my TBR. I'm really, really looking forward to it. And hopefully I can get it done. I this is just dumb, but it's here, it's happening, and I apparently have made my choice. Now I have to stick with it. Maybe by punishing myself, the game will like feel bad for me and let me get past the wormhole. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, so what numbers are not safe? Four, we do not want a four. Or an 11. No 4, no 11. A 12 would be nice, but let's be honest, the board has not been nice. Okay, come on, 12. 8. I think 8 was good. We're okay with it. Okay, here we go. Star. Come on. A paperback. That is easy. I can do this. I can do this, guys. Okay, so we got past the wormhole. Everything's looking uphill, I hope. And we got a star, which is a paperback. And for that, I'm giving myself another short one, which I should have done last time and I didn't. Let's not talk about it. And for that one, I'm going with The Willful Princess and the Piebald Prince by Robin Hobb. This is a short story that is set in her realm of the elderlings, I believe, but way, way before the rest of her books set in that. It's just a short story. I really don't know what it's about, but I'm putting it on my TBR. It is a paperback. It's fitting and yeah. I'm excited to read it. I really enjoy Robin Hobb's writing and I'm interested to see what she does with a short story because all of her books are chonky. And now we are going to go into what is hopefully the last roll. We, like fingers crossed, all the luck, I need it. This is, I, yeah, this has to be the last roll. Okay, this could potentially be our last spin. If I get a three, I'm, you might see me cry on camera. Um, but if I get anything over a three, I'm done and I'm safe. So please, like, fingers crossed for me. Okay, last roll, please. Oh, oh my gosh. I saw the one and I almost died a little bit, but we should be good. I'm so excited. Yes, barely. We barely made it there guys this is out of control I this is ridiculous I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do this but we're done and it means we're on to the spinner okay so on our 17th roll we have finally gotten to the final spot we are going to do the spinner guys it's gonna be fine let's just oh Gotta record it. Let's just hope the spinner is nice to me. I really, oh, I don't think I can take it if I do not get this on the first try. Like, I don't think I could actually take that. Whew. Okay, here we go. Oh, I gotta turn the timer on. Can't forget that. Okay, here we go. And we're gonna do 10 seconds once we get this. Okay, ready? And spin.
graphic novel. Okay, which one do I want? Um, we're going Sandman, because I don't want to miss it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it looks like Sandman by Neil Gaiman is going on <laughs> to my TBR, which is fine. I'm not mad about that. I can use a graphic novel on this ridiculous TBR, so at least the spinner was nice to me. Of all the things, the spinner had my back. That is it. That is all of it. I think I have 17 books on this TBR. I will show it to you in a second, but I'm pretty sure there are 17 on there, guys. It's out of control. Oh, I can't even hardly lift it. This is ridiculous. Just keep in mind that there are two books that aren't even in this stack. Ooh, I can get it all in here. Okay, let's go through it really quick. So we have um, Sandman by Neil Gaiman, which is for my spinner pick for a graphic novel. We have The uh, Willful Princess and the Piebald Prince by Robin Hobb for my paperback. Uh, Master Artificer for Foiling, uh, Crimson Campaign for Wormhole, uh, Witchy for Book Box Pick. Um, Rogue Protocol for Gifted, Age of Empire for... Um, Wormhole Pick, uh, Shadows of Self by Brandon Sanderson for a uh, prologue, a book that has a prologue, uh, Artificial Condition for, ooh, what even was that one? I don't even remember. Okay, Artificial Condition's on there. Uh, Monstrous for a graphic novel that is also a fantasy. We have Keeper of the Lost Cities for a Wormhole Pick, uh, All Systems Red for an odd-numbered page, um, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for Witches and Wizards, and Fool's Errand for a book over 500 pages. Ugh. And the two books that are not in that stack are Mistborn Era 2, uh, Bands of Mourning, for a wormhole pick, and The Murder, Murder of Roger Ackroyd for a book set in another country. Oh, I don't think there's any way that I'm gonna be able to finish this TBR. I feel like I should just stick the black hole on there now. This is so ridiculous. I have never had 17 books on a TBR before. I don't know how long this video is. It's probably gonna be ridiculously long because my battery died once already filming this and it's about to die again. So I'm really guessing that this is not, I do not know what I'm gonna do for July. This is gonna be ridiculous. It just, I just, I just don't know how I'm gonna pull this off, guys. It's fine. It's fine. I, I got this. Anyways, let me know down in the comments if you think I'll be able to do it. If you have faith in me, let me know what books you're excited about, what books you're looking forward to reading. And as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more from me, hit the subscribe button down below so you can keep an eye on whether I actually am able to finish these. You can see how I did. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.